Hello everybody, Soren here. Obviously Crimson's here. We just got done shopping. We're going to reiterate one thing quick. Yes, we went back to Walmart because there's some shit we can't get anywhere else. And, you know, everywhere's doing, doing the... the fucking... Take this lane, take that lane. Never mind, there's no other way into that fucking lane sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, whatever. Only thing that's bugging us is every place has posted that you're supposed to wear a mask to go in. CDC, state and federal regulations. We I'm seeing fucking employees with their masks down in the building. I'm seeing people walking in without masks. Seeing people once they're in the store well, taking their masks off. They see somebody coming up, they go to pull it up. That ain't gonna fucking help you. Basically, it'd be like if somebody walked up the car and I went... Yeah. Same fucking thing. I'll admit the little kid wearing a mask was adorable. My issue is the size was wrong. And she didn't understand enough to keep her face covered properly. And just so nobody goes off on us about having a drink in the car, he has one too. And either way, we've already said because of our work, we're a higher exposure anyway. I understand that there's been some fucking sociopaths shooting shit up. People are going to do that anyway. Don't blame fucking COVID stress on it. People are fucking psycho. I understand that there's been shootings over enforcing the masks, but it needs to be enforced. The, the, the fact is the employees aren't even fucking following it. And it don't matter if it's Walmart, Meyer, Kroger, the problem's everywhere. And the first step is get the employees to do their fucking jobs or get them the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Thing is, we do the grocery delivery stuff. We always wear our masks. We always wear our masks. We see some of them coming in without, and part of the stipulation sent through the emails is you must wear your mask. Mm -hmm. I don't have to keep ranting. I'm going to see if I can find the email so we can read the wording. We're not going to show it because no, of legality. Email, but... but I'll read the way they worded it. Yeah. You know, yes, it's kind of upsetting us. It's like, a, again, so many people coming in without their fucking masks on or taking them down the moment they're in the store. Per, saw one guy earlier at the fucking deli counter pulled off his mask so he could be heard clearly. Another fucker got a phone call, pulled down his mask. It's like, well, you might as well not put the piece of shit on. I ha half appreciated one guy's mask which said, fuck Donald Trump. But personally, I won't wear that because that's advertising Trump in any form. The reason he got fucking elected is people recognize his name in the first place. Go ahead, keep going. I'm trying to find, trying the right to find one. it. So, yeah, I'm just a little, honestly. How about the factor that our work is actually saying if you cannot get personal protection equipment, go to Target Guest Services, tell them and show them that you work with the company, and they will give you a set. It's a set of disposable, but it's a set. Mm -hmm. The factor that per guideline set by the CDC, you are still encouraged to wash your hands frequently, maintain proper social distancing, even with the use of masks and gloves. Mm -hmm. It's not the right email I was thinking of. I'm just struggling to find it. Yeah. But yeah, I remember when you first got it because you read it to me. And it said required, not recommended, not suggested, required. I remember how you emphasized it. But yeah, we're just... We're upset. Honestly, they probably would have got another 50 bucks out of me if they had their fucking staff doing what they're supposed to. Because mm -hmm. I want to get the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch sometime. But I'm not going to give a business the, bit, the sale for it if I'm seeing somebody in that department fucking with his mask off. I'm about to start popping on my phone taking pictures. Posting the, on fucking social media. The factor that the company we work for, part of the wording is beyond those general health guidelines to wash your hand, avoid touching eyes, nose, and face, all that general shit that we've heard a thousand times. Beyond general health guidelines, you can choose to schedule yourself self to shop only when you feel comfortable. If you do continue to shop, we encourage you to coordinate door drop-offs with your customers to avoid physical contact at delivery. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And I don't know how many times we've had people come on. I think part of that, before people start ignoring the social distancing shit. Part of it is the fact that we, if we have a hunch that they might come out, we wear our masks. 
most time when we step out of the car anymore, we wear the mask because we never know. Somebody could show up to freaking work out in their friend's garage. It happened. Wish I was kidding. Mm-hmm. I still haven't found it. The fact is, I remember it. It was a while ago. It was now. a random, random email. It was a weird titling. It was after taxes, though, so. Yeah. Well, part of the terrifying factor of this is some of the more scientific stuff found. Yeah, this qualifies as an STD. Because it's been proven after a male's considered clean by bloodstream tests and everything, his semen will still be able to spread the virus. So, yeah. If you ask medically, if you get, if you're a guy, you could actually say, yeah, I've had an STD. What do you have, Corona? Mm-hmm. Wish we were kidding. But... I found the link that said it, but it's taking forever to load. Because I remember it was in this. On yeah. the read more. But it's not loading properly. More likely they took the shit down because of people publicizing it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the thing is. I was on my personal Facebook. Somebody, not through our Facebook community, shared it to their friends going, Just a fair warning, this store has had positive cases. To if you have personal information like that, with your company, and you're not supposed to reveal it to just the general public, don't fucking share it. Well, the stupid fucking part of that is the moment it's on the net like that, you're never getting it fucking back. Because mm -hmm. you don't say specifically, hey, friends, just a warning at this store, when oh. it's a personal email through your employer, employment. All I know is we haven't seen nothing about them lately, and unfortunately, it was in our area. Mm-hmm. I had gotten the same email, same store, same email. Both stores that we tend to frequent, yes, they've had cases. cases. There's not much we can do. I can't afford to stop working. And the fact that every county we've been in, when I've done the tracking check, has had a minimum of 500 cases. Mm -hmm. No matter what county. Yeah. But yeah, it's... And the factor of do a quick scan of the parking lot so they can see. Yeah. We are still in a stay-at-home order. Over there is pretty much dead because a couple of those yeah, are still closed. Some of these. Back there, we're yep. basically full over here. We cannot get through the store. We actually waited in line for a second. We we to had to wait in. to get in. We waited a good twenty minutes in line to cash out with a Supposedly handful of items. Supposedly they have a limited occupancy. What I will say, and it's an issue with Walmart. Limit your fucking scan and go to so many items. Yeah, because there were people, people with carts piled. They had carts that I know were average prices, three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars worth of groceries going through the fucking self scan. But they also only had three of the normal lanes open. Yeah, and about a third of the self scans, because they're trying to keep the distancing. I understand. They're doing every other one shut down, but. When you're freaking packed to the max, because people are not listening to stay at home order. And dumb bitch still in the dart through the side of the lot. Yeah. We're parked towards the back of the lot, partially because there's no spots that way. And two, to be safer. So if somebody hits us back here. I whoop shit out of them. I don't give a fuck anymore. At this point, it's self defense. Mm hmm. But, yeah, I'm not blaming any political party. I'm not blaming any nation for this happening. I'm blaming our peers for being dumbasses and not listening to the law. My biggest problem right now is not wearing the masks when you're out. Only reason our masks are off right now is we're in the car. Windows are off. Windows are completely rolled up. Doors are closed. We live in the same household, so whatever he has, I have. It's just a factor of, I would admit, I've had to go to my mom's place to help her with a couple different things. Part of what we were picking up today was more materials to make masks, and she does the... She does some damn good masks. She made these. But ironically, the best material you can get for them right now, well, honestly, if we walked into Hobby Lobby or one of them, we could get in there now. 
I can't guarantee that we'd be able to have any better situation than we did here. But the fact is, we're finding 600 dead count pillowcases and we're ripping them apart. Mask. This fucktard doesn't even have a mask with him. I won't get sick. I'm a teenager. So am I. I am 19 years old. I don't think I'm immortal. Well, the problem is, and I've heard it from a lot of people, even people I know, they don't think COVID's that big of a deal. My answer, people are fucking dying. It's a big deal. But people die from the flu every year. Yeah, but well, most people are trying to argue now that these COVID cases died from this, from that. Yeah, they're complications. They're getting complications from, from COVID. Worsening the other situation. People are fucking stupid. And people are acting like it's only the elderly or the immunocompromised. There's infants six months old catching this shit. The scary part is there's adults dying. There's kids dying. There's elderly dying. Animals can catch it. There's tigers at the Bronx Zoo that's got it. There's some domestic cats. Mm. This does not mean give up your fucking cats. It's just a fact of it's been proven that reptiles can get respiratory conditions. And honestly, since this started, we've rescued one. We did. We got a little sand boa. We uh, went from Lansing to Pontiac to pick up a sand boa. And I'm glad we did finding out what betting he was on. Yeah. He was on pine or aspen. He was on a wood bedding and put in a tub with shredded up tissue paper. Which means the little fibers that come off whenever you rip a tissue, he was breathing them. Yeah. But people think that's okay for animals. No, it fucking ain't. It ain't good for you. It ain't good for them. Especially when it's a fucking damn near hatchling. Mm-hmm. But I think we've ran it enough. You guys got the idea. Yeah. I know this ain't going to get views for shit. So fuck Donald Trump, fuck, yeah, but let's say it, fuck Michiganders and Americans in general because they're fucking idiots. Yeah. We're just ashamed of our peers. Considering she almost hit my rear bumper? Yeah, with the way she pulled through, being a dumb fucking bitch. I know. I know you guys could see her. I know it had a little black thing coming across the mm -hmm. back of the screen. Let's see if there's masks. I'm shocked. Some of them. Not all of them. And there's this fucking idiot, too. It's Don't just, touch my car. I will fuck you up, woman. About half that party was wearing masks. Yeah. The adults weren't. Kids were. I'm shocked on the kids. Now, some people think their kids are more important to them. I appreciate that. But you still fucking... You gotta take care of yourself. Take care of them. I love having a red car sitting next to us because it makes us look so fucking ominous. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, we're just, again, ashamed of our peers. Apologize for the shakiness. I don't have it on a selfie stick. It's in my hand. That's why we it's also shaking. had a pot hit. Yeah, it helps. Having allergies to shit that they made legal don't fucking help at all. That's the thing. Is the way the law is worded, treated like alcohol. And people are smoking in their fucking cars. Mm -hmm. Thing I'm is, I will pull through, just because I don't dare pull back. Yeah, we're more likely to get hit. Now, this guy, I appreciate He put his mask on getting out of the car. And they were fresh masks. I could tell with the way they were folded down. Yeah, they were brand new disposable. So, I'm not bashing that at all. They're fine with by our means. And the fact that they got them on before they got out of the car. Most people are doing it at the fucking doors. We do it getting out of the car. Considering there was a woman snapping at her child behind us because the child was going, you need to wear your mask. And she went, I know, quit being a little. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the kid, but yeah, guys, we're stopping. That's 15 minutes of us running, but you get just of the bullshit going on. Excuse me. 
And I'm leaving this stuff up later just so people can see how fucking dumb people have been. See people go, oh, he's hypochondriac. First of all, those who want to say that, fuck you. I am more worried about my family and friends. I have friends with autoimmune disorders. I have friends with chronic asthma. With this shit, with the breathing problems, would kill. Grandma has asthma. We're damn near asthmatic mm -hmm. when the allergies hit. In fact, I'm to the point I'm carrying a fucking EpiPen. EpiPen and an inhaler. So, yeah. My answer? I'd rather be alive. You want to die? Go jump off a fucking bridge. Don't risk your kids. Don't risk your children. Don't risk your families. Because nothing's better than having to help my mom out in a mask for three fucking hours doing physical exertion. Because I don't dare breathe the same air as her just in case I'm carrying something. And the only reason we have to go over and help my grandmother is because my uncle won't. And yes, I know you're watching. No, he probably won't watch this. No, he might. Just see how we rant and if he gets this far in the video. Well. I know he's watching. If he'd step up and fucking do what he's supposed to to help my mother, his mother... I wouldn't have to bitch about that. Because I'm expecting once the lawn gets long enough, I'm going to have to go over on my own and mow it. Yeah. Which will hurt me. But he's trying to say he's not snacking in his bedroom. All I know is he's gained a good fucking 50 pounds since this shit started. The only way he's doing that is if he's snacking in his room. Mm-hmm. And the fact where he gets home, he hides out in his room, and then comes out and apologizes at mealtime because, I'm sorry, I don't want to get you sick. That's his excuse. He's using it as an excuse. Don't do that to your family. If they need your help, help them. If you're staying with them, the risk is already there. Even if you're essential personnel, just fucking step up. And I'm saying that in general. That's the only reason I've even seen my mother in the last couple months. For a while there, we were dropping stuff off on the door. Then we found out that. He wasn't fucking doing it. Because we had to help her build her bed. Tear down the old bed. But that was part of what got us so sore is I got her old bed. We put that together yesterday. Because the bed spring she needed to get to a height so she could safely get up and down was, was behind all that shit that when my brother had already moved. She had asked him to leave it out in case she needed it. And he went, no, you won't. Well, guess By what? time she was, once she was getting up out of bed, it was sitting where she was to pull herself up was maybe a foot and a half off the floor. I want you all to sit down on something that's about a foot and a half off the floor and stand up without hurting. And then try to do it when you're 70. But guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for the profanities and all, but at this point, I got to vent it somehow. Yeah. Without going homicidal. But we do have some games, some options for capturing now that we didn't have before. We are going to be working on one eventually. That has been a big thing I've been wanting. You've been wanting to play it ever since you actually found out about it and hated the 3DS rendition. Yep, because the controls suck. I actually got my hands on the GameCube version of Luigi's Mansion. I've been looking at some other ones when we have more cash to grab. I'm actually keeping an eye on a copy of Original Animal Crossing, but having the money to spare. I say original, it's the GameCube version, but that's basically a part of the N64 anyway. I had... I found out about Original Luigi's Mansion when I was like 10. Yeah. Because of YouTube. And with the hardware we have, we have an M Classic, which is a 4K upscaler. That does anti-aliasing, sharpness, all that. It's making the GameCube look like damn near PS4. Honestly, when I what I did, Two parts. they better not have gone through the fucking scan and go. They probably did, but yeah. But um, for a lot of that, I am using my old Wii. Because I can get a higher video output from it for a source. Cleaner output. And yes, we'll get back to Wild World. We will get back to Wild World. I might start up City Folk because there is some differences from Wild World. Yeah. We're still 
I apologize for not having everything up for the New Horizon. I need to finish editing, getting it up. Yeah. I do have a golf VR incident that's ready to go up <laughs> that I'll be uploading after we get home. I made him look like a noob and I don't play golf. No, it helped when I got the camera all lined right, too. Okay, even before that. It did help both of us once I had it right, though. But, yeah. There's a lot in the works. The fact that I can do the upscaling for the old console, so PS1 games, PS2 games. Shit, I ran Osmanis Returns off the PS3. It looked like fucking PC on the Ultra settings, so... I'm looking forward to that, even. We can run the PlayStation TV through it with the adapters I have. I can do the PS2, the GameCube. With the GameCube, we have the Game Boy Player attachment. Sorry, guys. I know I'm being weird in the background, but I'm just noticing the weird... Floof. <laughs> but yeah, we're... Got a lot we can do. I still have a lot of my PS2 library. I need to get back to that Nightmare Before Christmas. But part of that, at this point, is time, energy. Not working. Yeah. I still need to get back to Watch Dogs, and I was enjoying that. But we're going to stop the yep. vlog so I can get out of this parking lot. And people can't say she's distracted driving while we're vlogging. So unlike some people, no offense to somebody who have done it in the past... We just try to keep it safe. Yes, we've had while I'm driving vlogs, but you notice how I go. Yeah, she's paying attention to the road. I'm usually talking. I'll talk too, but I won't. I like glance over when we're at a stop. Yeah, exactly. We're not being reckless. We're not. But thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.